After the collapse of Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore yesterday, the ongoing recovery efforts of six people, there have been questions res surrounding the state of the 47-year-old bridge and what can be done to prevent another tragedy like this from happening again. WVU's director of the Constructed Facilities Center spoke to 12 News on how internal redundancy on a bridge allows for failure of part of the bridge and then spreads throughout the rest of the structure without a total collapse. The role of bumper systems are made of high-grade material for the shell and are highly shock-absorbing material for the core. I'm not implying somehow a bumper will take care of uh, this, but that would provide a good amount of resistance against shock. Gingaro estimated that a building of a new bridge could take a minimum of two years and a maximum of five with a price tag of around $400 million. The Baltimore port is one of the biggest in the East Coast and frequently used to transport coal, lumber, agriculture, equipment, automobiles, and more. The delay of these products could negatively affect West Virginia. If you're a business or individual that's already feeling an effect, we'd love to hear from you. Send us an email at news at WBOY.com.